Go to example one here, we've got log base seven of the fourth root of this whole quantity. So how do we expand that? Okay, well let's see, the first thing that you can think of is when you have the fourth root, that's really like the one fourth power. So let me just go over here and write that a little bit differently. Log base seven, x squared, y cubed, over z to the one fourth power. Now when you have a power to a power, you remember this from when you learned about exponents, you can distribute that power into the parentheses. So power to power, you multiply the exponents. So what we can do now is we can write this as log base seven of x to the two fourths, which is actually one half, y to the three fourths, all over z to the one fourth. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, you can see these two quantities in the numerator, see how they're multiplied together? So what we can do is we can write this as a sum, we could say log base seven, of x to the one half plus log base seven y to the three fourths and then see how we're dividing by z to the one fourth so that's the quotient property so we're going to be subtracting log base seven of z to the one fourth now what we're going to do is we're going to take these powers we're going to bring them down in front of the logs okay as coefficients that's the power property so we're going to bring that one half down so we get one half log base seven of x plus three fourths log base seven of y minus one fourth log base, whoops, log base seven of z. And that's fully expanded right there. So that's the idea, you wanna just keep expanding until you can write it as a sum or difference of, of logs. So let's go to example two now. So this one, same kind of idea, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. So instead of writing this as a, the square root of x, let's think about it as x to the one half power. So when we distribute this three in here, okay, like so, okay, what we get is we get log base five of x to the one half raised to the third power, that's one half times three, that's x to the three halves, right? y to the six, because two times three, over w cubed z to the 15th, okay. So now you can see how these two quantities are multiplied together. So we can write this as a sum. So we're gonna write this as log base five of x to the three halves plus a log base five y to the sixth minus, okay, now notice see how we're dividing by this quantity. So I'm gonna write this as minus log base five of w cubed times z to the 15th. Okay, so now you can do this, you know, some students are really good, they can do this all in one step, but I'm just showing you step by step. Now notice how these are multiplied together, these two quantities right here. So that means that we can write this as a sum. So log base five of w cubed plus log base five of z to the 15th, right? Okay, but notice, see how this minus is on the outside of the parentheses? What we can do is we can then distribute that negative into the parentheses like that. Or another way to think of that is anything that's in the denominator, when you go to expand it, that log, that particular log is gonna be subtracted, okay? Anything that's in the numerator, that particular log is gonna be a positive or you're just gonna be added, okay? So an easy way to think of it. So let's kinda of continue with this. So let's bring these powers now down in front, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write this as three halves log base five of x plus six log base five of y uh, minus three log base five of w minus 15 log base five of z, and that's it right there, fully expanded, and you've got it. So I hope that helped you understand how to expand logs better. I'll put a link to another video that I did talking about expanding logs if you want more practice. And then lastly, you know, if you're preparing for the ACT or the SAT, check out my two review courses, my two video review courses. One's called the Huge ACT Math Review Video Course. The other one's called the Huge SAT Math Review Video Course. And I go through you know, teaching and example problems and formulas and things that you're gonna wanna know to be well prepared for that test. And I've got three uh, free lessons for both of those courses, so you can check those out, see if it's a good fit for you. You'll get something out of those lessons that'll help you, you know, boost your score on those tests. And uh, definitely check those out. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the future videos, and I'll talk to you soon.